Hello everyone, it's Bernadette, Simply Be Art in Cape Town and welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. I'm so happy you could join me today. So I'm just about getting ready to lay down my pillow on a 30 by 40 centimeter canvas. I'm going to do a bloom pour once again on a background. This time my background is uh, a soft cloud grey with chartreuse and my blooms are going to be a mix of purples and I've named this painting Two's a Company because I'm only going to do two blooms for you today. So that's the soft cloud grey. I'm going to do a number of puddles along the edge of my pillow. I'm trying to keep the center free from the background because I want to do the blooms right in the middle. Now this is a, <laughs> I'm just testing this to see how it works. I hope that I'm not going to be spinning off most of that paint, but um, you know, and praying that I can at least see some of that beautiful chartreuse around the edges. So that's the idea that's in my head today. Let's hope that I'm able to achieve that. So on top of the chartreuse, I'm putting down my cell activator. And, uh, you know, as you know, it's Australian Floetrol mixed with a titanium white and Amsterdam from Amsterdam paints. My blow dryer is always first I use it on a low speed and then I switch over to a high speed setting. I'm always on a cool air and um, it's an 1800 watt um, blow dryer spreading out those puddles now just randomly you know spreading it out with the with the power from the blow dryer turning my spinner so that I am able to spread those those puddles out um, no particular fashion right now just uh, wanting to spread out get some cells and some nice lacing going there and then I'm going to be ready to spin so I'm already loving that still leaving that center open the spinning allows the paint to spread across the edges all four edges and oh just look how pretty that is already i i'm loving what i'm seeing here and it gives me ideas for a future uh, pour which i'm i'm planning in my head to do just a background you know with a range of colors with no blooms on top i just want to get some abstracts going so look out for that video it may just be my next one so for my blooms i'm starting to lay down a metallic gold and that is followed by a deep violet The next color is a metallic violet. These bloom uh, mixes, the bloom colors are all mixed with a, an untinted um, house paint mixed with a polyurethane. I do have a mixing video. I'm going to put the link up for you now. The color that I'm laying down is a purple and that's going to be followed by a periwinkle. And then I'm going to top these puddles off with a pearl white. Thank you. 
and on top of the pearl white I will lay down the cell activators again and this time I'm going to bring in the black cell activator on top of the pearl white and then I'm going to add the white cell activator right on top of the black cell activator and I love how the two cell activators play together to really make the center of the bloom very distinct so you can see the cells and you can see the lacing because of the contrast between the white and the black and so once again my blow dryer is on a low speed just to spread the cell activator across the colors and then I switch it up a notch to a high speed to spread out the bloom colors over the below the base below so once I've spread out the colors I then blow out the petals And I'm so happy with that choice of colors. That softness in that bloom is just beautiful. And the contrast of the chartreuse in the background just lends itself to the beauty of that violets and that purple. I'm going to give you a close-up shot of that because you have to see that softness and and the 3d look of those petals it's just stunning so if this is the first time for you joining my channel I've got loads of bloom blowout videos for you please go and check out my playlist I'm going to put it up for you now click on the link and it'll take you straight to my playlist and thank you for joining me thank you for being here with me please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't yet done so and join my pouring family and if you're back and you're already a subscriber thank you so very much for your viewership and for your time that you take watching my videos I so appreciate it so thank you everyone for being here thank you for watching thank you for spending time with me I'll see you on the next video take care bye for now